This week on John Thielen's Destination Fish, we start in the shallow backwaters of a typical Midwestern river system. As the walleyes migrate downriver after the spawn in the spring, they often stop to feed in these backwater areas, creating a great opportunity to catch big fish. Then it's Mille Lacs Lake in late summer. Pitching to fish located on the edge of the mudflats is today's ticket. John Thielen's Destination Fish is brought to you by Lindy Fishing Tackle and Alumacraft Boats. Wisconsin water today, border water actually. With the Wisconsin side of the border water though, we can run three lines. Oh, there's a fish. Got one already? I got him, John. Okay. I got this one and there's a perch on that one. Okay. We'll just do this. Let's worry about the walleye first. All right. I got one on here too. Look at this. Right on that turn. We're gonna take care of Charlie's first, but oh, there, oh, he's still there, yeah. He's still there, this is a heavier fish. Yeah, it looked like a bigger fish when I, I saw him hit it. And well, I mean, he smoked that this, board down. This board is not. Yup. I'm gonna get close. Man, I love this backwater fishing. Oh, it's fun. <laughs> it's, it's, I'll tell you what, I've always said, this is some of the funnest fishing you can do. You ready? Yep. Okay. Because these fish, you know, you get in these scenarios, and they're just so aggressive. I mean, they're when they get in this shallow water, they're here for one reason, and that's to eat. They're feeding. That's a good fish, it's staying deep. It's staying deep, three feet go. down, big walleye. Look at this. Ooh. This is the way it's, this is the way it can Let be. me uh, give you some line. Look at this, yeah, give me some line. I'm just gonna grab this fish right out of here. <laughs> what a big, pretty St. Louis River walleye. There Look we at go. That. What a way to start. <laughs> Look yeah. at that fish. Ate that little Joe spinner. I'll tell you what, how fun is that right there? Yeah. Here, take your fish, show them to everybody. Okay? Yeah. Get that thing unhooked, get her back in the water. And while you're doing that, let me see what I can do to get this one in. What a beautiful fish. He wasn't being shy about it either. Oh, no, and this one I've got isn't a bad fish either, I'll tell you that. Another big one. I think I got her. You Look got at it. this. You want to start your day with a double? Start oh. it with two big ones. <laughs> yep. Yours hit that chrome or that chartreuse gold. Look at that, popped right off. <laughs> yes, we're going to show you these fish and we're going to get them back in the water. <laughs> Look at that. You want to start a day of fishing? That's river fishing. That's what you can do, man. Look at that. I don't even have time. I don't even have time to get that line back out. I just picked that line up to get that line back out after that last fish, and this one gets hit. Get you some working room back here on I'll, this side. I'll tell you, sometimes, sometimes, you know, the ability to fish three lines in Wisconsin water today is cool because we're covering a lot of ground, but let me tell you, sometimes it gets hard to deal with everything going on when you're on a bite that is this solid and consistent because I'll tell you, I mean, these fish are just snapping one after another. It's been hard to keep lines in the water. Another good eater size fish here, bud. There, he's gonna get a little wound up right now. Here we go. I got him. Another nice eye. There you go. Oh, and he's off. You know, one thing I'll tell you about these fish too, that 16, 17 inch walleye here, man, you put him in a, in a, in a river situation back in these backwaters, that fish, he fights like he's five pounds. You got one. Look at this. No, <laughs> John, this is a smallmouth bass. Is it? It just came out of the water. Oh, yeah, you can tell it's not. It, this fish is trying to swim faster than we are. Go ahead. Uh, okay, I got it. Got him? I got it. Okay. I'm not kidding <laughs> you. It's a, this is probably a 22 inch bass. Oh, geez, look at that. <laughs> <laughs> Think spinners catch fish? You name it. Oh, Look at that. That's a beautiful fish. Holy smokes. <laughs> I know. Man, You'd I'll like tell to catch you. bass anywhere like that. You know, and you know I love bass fishing, <laughs> but man, I'll tell you, there is no harder a fighting fish I got it. than that fish right there. <laughs> Holy smokes, that's cool. Upgrade your fishing game with the 2024 Alumacraft Multi-Species Fishing Boat. Loaded with features like large aerated live wells, ample rod storage, large front casting decks, and the exclusive double-plated 2XB hull. 
This series delivers on performance and all-day comfort, making it in a must for anglers who demand excellence. Contact your Alumacraft dealer to pre-order your 2024 boat and take your fishing adventure to the next level. Gallus Marine in Wisconsin Rapids has everything you need to get your family out on the water this summer. New and used boat sales include top brands like Alumacraft Boats and Berkshire Pontoons, powered by Yamaha Outboards. The parts and service departments will keep you up and running all summer long. Whether you're looking for a Yamaha-powered fishing boat, ski boat, or a pontoon, Gallus Marine has you covered, and when fall arrives, they'll be there to handle your winterization needs. Stop in and see them at their convenient central Wisconsin location, or look them up at gallusmarine.com. Take your trolling game to the next level with the all-new Trollmaster Pro Angler. The Pro Angler pairs with your current Trollmaster system or can be purchased as an all-inclusive kit while still compatible with Panther ElectroSteer models. New features include increased battery capacity to keep you fishing longer and Strike Mode, a built-in function that increases your speed in short bursts every two, four, or six minutes to trigger more strikes. Up your trolling game and catch more big fish with the all-new Trollmaster Pro Angler. We are LM. We are a third generation family owned business that has proudly served the Northland for over 60 years. We carry products that cater to the communities surrounding our stores. We service what we sell, and we can equip you with everything you need for your next outdoor adventure. We are family. We are LM Fleet Supply. Tell you what, one thing that'll really help you with speed in a situation like this, because here's what you gotta know. We're going against the wind and then we're turning around and going with the wind. And it can make a big difference when you're trying to find an exact speed and hold it. We're trying to stay in that one, two, one, three neighborhood. One of the things you can use that makes it really, really easy for you is the cruise control function on your on your Minn Kota. They got this on the Trovas, they got it on the Alteras. It's really great because not only am I in autopilot, to have my straight line that I want, I'm also in cruise control, which means I'm picking a speed that I want to go, and now the motor is adjusting on its own to keep me at that one, two to one, three. It's really a great feature, and I think it's underutilized. There's one, good one. Ooh, look at that. That's a good fish. I'm just messing with the speed, just trying to get it dialed in perfect. And I looked over and this thing was doubled over. This is a good fish. Man, that cruise control feature is so slick for it, this it, though. It's huge, it is. This is a really nice one. Take my come time my way a little here. bit. Here we go. I got him. Good one. Nice fish. Let me pop that bale open. There you go. But that is a great example of using the tools that you have on your boat to really be dialed in. I was just messing around with that cruise control. And what that cruise control allows me to do, you got one on there? I do have one on. What it allows me to do is set a speed and stay at that speed and it will adjust for me. And I'm gonna tell you, on a bite like this, where these fish are tuned in on a certain speed, that's a great eye anywhere you go. But when they're tuned in on a speed, with a press of a button, I can set that cruise control and it will make the adjustments for me. Spinners in backwaters on rivers. It's not something a lot of people think of. Charlie does it a lot here on the St. Louis, but I'll tell you, this is happening on rivers all over the Midwest. There here, you go, get, buddy. I'll get this out. Oh, is it a nice one? Look, Look at that. He got himself release. unhooked for you. That's perfect, huh? Yeah. Look at that. He wanted that worm. Yeah, he did. I'll That's tell you what, it, right now today, these colors are key. This orange, this uh, chartreuse and this pink with the flash and the vibration. Yep. And then the other nice thing is they're small enough we can go slow yep. and still spin. Well, I'll tell you something else about these little Joe spinners. 
the ones we're using today, if, if we were talking a heavy cloud cover day, I'm thinking colors. I'm gonna fish something a solid bright color, okay? Maybe it's gonna be chartreuse, maybe it's gonna be pink, okay? If the sun's out and it's just a high skies calm day, I'm probably gonna be fishing gold. Here's what's great. We've got one of those days today where you get a little bit of sun, you get a little bit of clouds, you're back and forth, and these colors we're using, you can look at that one Charlie's holding right there, it's got some gold on it and it's got the color. So you're covering both ends of the spectrum, no matter what the condition is, as we go on and off throughout the day versus sitting here constantly changing spinners. Oh boy. Good one? Yeah, it's a good one. Okay. You don't like it when they grab that gunnel rod. Talk about making life a little easier, huh? Oh, we only got a Borg one too. Okay. Well, I guess we got one at a time. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We'll deal with one at a time. That's one thing you do run across in these shallows though, is when you catch one, it seems like Ready? they're they're together and you catch another one. Oh, big eye, giant, <laughs> giant fish. Look at this. Charlie, show everybody that fish. <laughs> Let me get him all here. Oh my, you get it? I did. Look at that. <laughs> oh man. Yeah, this. It's just right in the top, 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 that top lip. huge. You get it? I got it. Look at that fish. Weigh this down all the way. Holy smokes. And I drop it. That is a big fish, huh? man. Look at mm -hmm. that. <laughs> huh? Man, I'm gonna tell you something. This backwater fishing. These are... if, it's, if it's something you haven't done, you need to come and do this because fish like this are way, I mean, we've just, we just ramsacked them today. <laughs> it's just one after another. It's been big fish, eater sized fish. It's just been crazy. There's no way you're gonna see all the fish that have been in the boat today. This is, this is just awesome. Get that big girl back in the water. All right. she's, she's all done spawning and man, that's good stuff right there. This is your tackle. You use it to catch this or this or this. You also use this and that and these. This, this is your environment. So is this. You love it, live for it, but it will turn this into that. This is the Flambeau Z-Rust Max Tough Tainer Series. These are fully infused with exclusive Z-Rust VCI anti-corrosion technology. This is a U.S. Naval battleship. The same Z-Rust technology used here has been used on those. This is the next level of tackle management. Built to fish, built to last. What's your tackle worth? This is the place. Warner's Dock in New Richmond, Wisconsin is the place to find your new Suzuki-powered fishing boat or pontoon. The new redesigned show floor at Warner's Dock is home to a large inventory of pontoons and fishing boats from various manufacturers as well as a complete lineup of Suzuki outboards. The service and parts department have you covered from beginning to end, including off-season storage solutions. Stop in and see the team at Warner's Dock for all your boating needs. This is the place. Mega Live Imaging shows you what's below in real time with edge-to-edge -edge clarity and no gaps in coverage, all so you can turn must-watch detail into non-stop action. Only from Humminbird. Whether you crank it, jig it, flip it, slow roll, or troll, Striker Technical Apparel gives you the freedom and confidence to fish, no matter your style, no matter the weather. Because with Striker, when it's on, it's on. It's on. Lacan's Marine in Fairbolt, Minnesota offers everything you need to enjoy your time on the water with family and friends. Lacan specializes in Yamaha powered Alumacraft boats, and you can bet they have the model and horsepower you are looking for in their extensive inventory. 
Lacan's also offers parts and accessories along with an experienced service department that will keep you on the water. And when fall arrives, they can handle your winterization and storage needs. Get out on the water this summer with a new Yamaha powered Alumacraft boat from Lacan's Marine. Next up, we head to Mille Lacs Lake for a late summer walleye bite on the deep water mudflats. In the old days, we would be pulling cranks by now, but with the assistance of my Mega Live unit, we are finding and catching walleyes with live bait tactics on the edge. John Thielen's Destination Fish is brought to you by Lindy Fishing Tackle and Alumacraft Boats. There he goes. Turn and look at that Mega unit. <laughs> Turn back. Bobber gone. Got him. Yeah, Man, I'll tell you, <laughs> that right there is fun stuff. <laughs> That's called fishing a single fish. Being able to pick him out, throw at him, and make him bite. And it's getting trickier to do that nowadays, and, and I'll tell you why. Water's clearing up all over the Midwest. It's getting harder to just go out and catch fish in some of the traditional ways that we've gotten so accustomed to catching them. And that's just plain and simple because a lot of times you can't go over the top of these fish with your boat without spooking them. So ultimately to catch these fish, we're changing tactics. We're doing things differently than we've ever done. And you know what? It's still just as effective. So we're gonna talk about some clear water techniques today because all of these waters are clearing up. And it's just something you're gonna to have to learn to live with and it's gonna change how we fish in years to come. So that's what we'll talk about today. We're gonna to catch a bunch of fish and have a good time. And if that's any indication, it's gonna be a really good day. Today we are fishing the mud flats on Mille Lacs Lake in mid-August. The fish are on the edges with key depths being 24 to 27 feet. It's sunny with a five to 10 mile per hour east wind. One 16th ounce Lindy Live bait jigs tipped with jumbo leeches below thill floats are doing the trick. I'm gone. That one <laughs> fish out there, I'm sitting here watching the video game that Pat's playing. I threw on this one fish out here, look over and I'm gone because we're watching this fish watching come too up much toward TV. Pat's. <laughs> I don't think this is a real big fish, Pat. We'll see. If I need help, I'll let you know. Yeah, but you color can make such a difference in this clear water. Ah, he's it's not a bad fish. I don't know what I'm that, thinking. No. Oh, nice. It's a nice walleye. Either anywhere else. Yep. You know, color can matter so much though, but I think it even exaggerates itself when you get into this clear water and both Pat and I are using the same color. It's very deliberate. I mean, we're not messing around with it. These fish in Mille Lacs Lake eat perch, eat perch. <laughs> or they eat tulipies, one of the two. It's a good little walleye right there. He's, he's a future biggin but he's a great eater today. Yeah. If we were on a lake where he could be eating, we'll, we'll get him back in the water. But here's what I'm getting at with this. Choosing colors that are natural is most often gonna be a way, way, way better way to go. Don't hesitate to throw something in the color of the bait yeah. that they're eating. So right now we're both throwing this green Lindy Live bait jig yeah. because it matches the perch in the system. I don't plan to get this guy. Oh yeah, I'm literally just finally getting <laughs> retied. I'm watching him reel that fish in on the live unit. <laughs> well, got that done? Uh, yeah, I'm I almost, keep I'm almost back. I am having a net fish. I'm almost back in the game. <laughs> hey, how many times <laughs> in your life have you had a bobber rig almost retied, and then you stop for some reason, and everything yeah. slides off on you, the bead, the bobber, oh, yeah. right? that's what happened to. to me there. <laughs> it's fails. happened to every single one of us at one point or another, that's it's what a, happened. It feels like a nice fish. Yeah, yeah a little it bigger is. Than some of the Good other walleye. Ones. Nice one. Oh, yeah. So, next piece of this whole thing is Hummingbird Mega Live. I'll tell you what, we're seeing all these fish and we're able to stay away from them. And in the old days, you couldn't do that. I mean, yeah, you had side imaging and and you had ways to look out, but here's the deal, we've had nothing like this, where you can actually look out to the any direction you right. want. That's a great fish. 
any direction you want to look, see where the fish are going, see what direction they're going, see how high they are, and know everything about them before you ever flip on them. And I'll tell you what, it's become so important. It's one of those things that I tell people all the time, man, if you could pick one thing to add to your existing boat, or if you could pick one thing to add to a brand new boat that you're rigging up, this Humminbird Mega Life, it's the real deal. Zippo Bay Resort is the premier resort on the south shore of Lake of the Woods. Spend the day on one of Zippo Bay's six 30-foot charter boats or bring your own boat to explore the pristine waters of the big lake. Log cabins in various sizes have all the amenities while clean and comfortable housekeeping cabins are also available. Spend a day at the pool and hot tub, play on the water toys, enjoy great food and drink in the lodge, and relax around the campfire in the evenings with family and friends. Make Zippo Bay Resort on Lake of the Woods your next summer getaway. Hi, this is Greg from Outdoors Again in Bedette, Minnesota. I'd like to personally invite you to stop in and visit us here at Outdoors Again, where we carry the largest selection of fishing tackle, bait, firearms, and ammo in northern Minnesota. We are the home of the Jig Buffet. We are conveniently located on Highway 11 in downtown Bedette with plenty of parking to accommodate boats, wheelhouses, and trailers. We are your one-stop shop for all of your outdoor needs, including bait, tackle, firearms, ammo, and much, much more. We look forward to seeing you here at Outdoors Again. Dan's Southside Marine in Bloomington, Minnesota is one of the largest Suzuki outboard dealers in the country. Pair that power up with a brand new Alumacraft boat, you have the ultimate package. Dan's carries an extensive inventory of Suzuki powered Alumacraft boats, meaning you will find the model that fits your family and be on the water this spring. Dan's also offers an experienced service staff and a large parts and accessories department that is sure to have everything you need. Sales, service, parts, winterization, and storage, Dan's Southside Marine does it all. Today, anglers fish longer. Today, anglers fish harder. Today, anglers rely more than ever on their electronics. It all comes down to catching more fish, and today, anglers rely on Amped Outdoors lithium batteries, period. There is nothing more aggravating than a hard to turn steering wheel on your boat door pontoon. The Panther XPS Gen 2 power steering system eliminates that aggravation. XPS steering is designed to fit on outboard engines with horsepowers ranging from 90 to 250. Panther XPS is true power steering, which provides smooth and easy turning of the engine. XPS can be easily installed on any boat with single cable steering by your dealer or in your own driveway. Take control of your steering with the Panther XPS Gen 2 power steering system. Yeah. Well, got them. <laughs> well, when they take it slow like that and it's, just sit there, I think it's a better fish. I think, Typically, you know, I'm not going to tell, but... tell you he's a giant, but he is a better fish. You know, the thing is, though, I'll tell you on that Mega Live, you can tell which fish might be a little bit better. And the guy running it definitely can get on those fish quick because you do. Oh, yeah, it's a good eye. Look at that one. Come here, buddy. Look at that. Perfect. Look at that, nice fish, nice fish anywhere you go. It's good stuff. I wanna show you what we're using because for what we're doing, you know, there's a lot of different options, but I think what we're doing personally is the best option and I'm gonna show it to you. Number one, a fill float is a big deal because it's balsa and it's made with the finest balsa. I mean, it shows you everything. Fish like that one that just grabbed it, that float went up and down four or five times because that balsa is so finicky, you can tell the lightest little bite. This is the Thill Wobble Bobber. Now I'm using the 3 8 ounce size and I wanna explain this to you. When it comes to this live imaging and casting to fish, this is the best one. Top end of that float and the bottom end of that float have the brass grommet in it. Then on the business end, Lindy Live Bait Jig, 16th ounce. Again, we talked a little bit about it earlier. We're fishing green because of the perch. Now one other thing. This right here is a Pro Series XL fill float. Thing I'll tell you though, is when the wind comes up, switch over to that wobble bobber. This morning I could cast further yep. and I got the first few fish. Yeah, yeah. Ultimately though, either one of those floats are gonna do exactly what you need them to do and we're just casting and suspending over those fish. It's that simple. My line's already tight. Must have been running away with it. Lunchtime fish. You know, all these fish we're seeing, 
Well, Pat's reeling in. Let me explain this to you real quick. This is a good fish. Okay. What I've got you? I've got the mega live right here, and I'm actually turning this and looking for these fish. I'm running this hummingbird back here, Helix 10, just on the mega live up here. I'm running my map and I'm running my 2D. But one of the things that's so cool about the Alumacrafts is because I've got this track system along this whole boat, I'm running my mega live mount on the track system, and I can slide it to anywhere I want to put You're it. You're under two. Okay. This is ridiculous. I'm glad somebody's watching my bobber. He, he's he's just taking the rod. He's taking the rod. How's this for chaos? This is fishing right here, boy. Want to go to the other side? Oh, we can. he's here. He's here. Okay. He's like, you're gonna see him here. Here so. we go. Oh, took another one more yet. run. Okay. <laughs> All right. Thought he was about ready there. Here he is. Okay. Yeah. You take the net. Let All me right. deal with this. See if I can catch back up to this guy. Man, this is just cool stuff. That's <laughs> just cool stuff. Okay, got him. Here you go. I got it. Yeah. Yeah. These are just dandies. Two good ones at the Ooh. same time. Right out of that same area. Beautiful. That is awesome. I'm gonna get this guy back in the water. Ah, what Thanks a, for playing, big fella. What an awesome double that was. Alright. Alright, that one took off. Alright. Look at that. How cool is that? That yeah. is a double. <laughs> <laughs> Where'd he go? Where'd he go? Swim there he is. <laughs> Stick him. Yeah, we got him. You know, one of the things I'll tell you that I think it's changed too. There was a time, I mean, I remember when I was a kid, bobber fishing, my dad would always say, count to 10, count to 10. You gotta count longer, you gotta stay on them longer. And I'll tell you, I think in this clear water, these fish, they're just flat out more finicky. I think you gotta get to them a little I quicker. I get them three or four seconds guiding yep. usually. Here we go. And a lot of times they'll spit yep. it on me if I don't. Right. And if you don't get to them, they're, I mean, it's almost like they just figure out that something's wrong. Look at that, settle down there, big boy. That's a great way to wrap up a day, I'll tell you what. This has just flat out been fun. Yeah. And you know what? Yeah. These fish, I, I know it's easy to think that these fish are just not biting when you get to this time of the year, but let me let you in on something. They're still biting. They just change when they get to this time of the year in this clear water. So getting out, using all your electronics to your advantage, going to those high percentage spots right off the edges of structure, all those little things come into play and they can put together a real good day of fishing. Closed captioning for John Thielen's Destination Fish is brought to you by Formula Propeller.